What's up kids? Chris here. Hope everybody's doing well. Happy Friday. It is Friday, May 8th. It's great to see everybody. So jump in here with your questions as always. I'll do my best to answer them. Particularly when it comes to building and growing your digital creative ad agency, whatever it is, that's what we're doing here. And we got a fantastic question today. I won't mention the name. They asked me to keep that quiet. I totally understand that. This is a common question. This is a question that honestly I deal with. Everybody deals with it. What's up, Brennan? Great to see you. Everybody deals with this question. Everybody gets overwhelmed at times. Michael, so awesome to see you. Um, it's just important to figure out overwhelm in our lives because times like this, things get a little crazy. Sarah, awesome. Hey, times like this, things get crazy. And good morning, Michael. Awesome to see you, man. <clears throat> and, and you want to make sure that the stuff going on in our heads, the stuff going on in our lives, all the clutter we're experiencing, all the things that are dancing around us, with crazy times like these, if you're shut in, locked up at home, if you're trying to get clients back on track, if you're getting new clients, if you're having success like a lot of agencies are right now where they're getting a ton of new clients because the markets are coming back online, whatever it is, overwhelm is real. There's a, there's a really cool problem you might have if you're getting a bunch of new clients, right? You're feeling overwhelmed, you have all that workload. If you don't have a bunch of new clients right now, you might be overwhelmed with bills and expenses and all kinds of worries that kind of just crowd in around our heads. So. Again, won't mention who asked this question. It's a fantastic question. Thanks for being honest and authentic. And let me do the same. So I deal with overwhelm just like everybody else. And, and that might sound silly because I work typically less than 30 minutes a day in my agency because we do a lot of good systems. We have a lot of great staff, but it doesn't matter. It's, it's shocking. We think it matters like I've got plenty of money or I've got plenty of time or my relationships are just right or whatever. You know, ultimately, life's never just perfect. It's, it's rare, there's just little windows we find where like, oh my gosh, everything's going great. Like everything in every category. Kids are happy, partner, spouse is happy. What's up, CN? Everybody's happy, I'm happy, everything's going perfect. And then life crashes, right? It just is unpredictable. So here's how I deal with overwhelm, and I hope this helps the person who's asked this question. It's just about focus and about discipline in my thoughts. I, that's overly simplified, but let me kind of explain what I mean by that. I sit down when I'm feeling overwhelmed and I actually make lists. Lists help me. Use a whiteboard, I use the little um, notepad on my phone, and I just write a list of here's all the things that I'm overwhelmed about. Like I literally write the worries, the concerns, the things that are crowding in around me, I write them all down. I just make a list. If it's three things, if it's 20 things, I write them all down. Typically, I start writing them down and I run out around 10 or 15 things if it's a really bad time, all right? It could be money, it could be relationships, it could be time, it could be too many clients, it could be noise going on, it could be systems I'm trying to build, it could be really logical, it could be really illogical. It doesn't matter, don't judge it, write it down. Okay, so once I get it written down, then I go back and I write next to those things or under those things, here's what I'm gonna do about it, right? Now, there's two categories I break that into what I can control and what I can't control. So if I can control something, I write down, here's what I'm gonna do about it, right? If it's, oh my gosh, I'm just working too many hours, that's something I can control. I might feel like I need to work all those hours to get all the work done, but ultimately, that's gonna collapse around me. We're only so big as people, we have to, I have to pull that back. So I'm gonna stop work at 6 p.m. or 5 p.m. or whatever, write that down. If it's something out of your control, someone else in your life has made a crappy decision or they've, they've created a mess around you. What's up, Robert? Awesome to see you, man. And you can't do anything about that. It's okay. If you can't control it, mark down. I can't control this and move on from it. Put it in its own category. That's why I like using the little notepad on my phone because I can kind of slide those things down. So the stuff that I can't control, I move to the bottom of my overwhelm list. The things I can control, I move to the top of my overwhelm list and I write down what I'm going to do about it. I write down one thing for each of the things that I can control. So I've got my overwhelm list now, all the things that I'm feeling overwhelmed about, the stuff that I can't control is moving down the list, the stuff I can control is moving up the list, and underneath each thing I can control, I pick one thing that I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna execute about that thing that I can control that's overwhelming me. If it's finances, find a simple task you can do, something simple you can say, What's up, Scott? Good to see you. Something simple you can say, hey, I can take action here. I can move this forward. I can save a little bit. I can I can put, yeah, thanks, Robert. Helpful for me too, man. It's, it's honestly great in these lives because I get to remind myself of the truth, right? So if it's something about finances and it's just saving a little bit of money, if it's just putting a little bit back, um, making sure I'm going to manage finances in the morning and not all day long, 
It's like something about relationships that I can control. I'm gonna practice this relational pattern that's healthy for me and healthy for those around me. And I'm gonna get an accountability partner, get somebody to help me just check in on that. If it's something about clients and generating new income, then I'm gonna find something, I'm overwhelmed, don't have enough clients, let's say, then I'm gonna be disciplined and I'm gonna reach out to three people a day. Something simple, reach out to three people a day to ask for referrals or for new business. If that's like, oh my gosh, some people are reaching out to 10 people a day, Wow, it's so hard. Don't worry about being like anybody else. Do what you can do. Find one simple thing that you can mark underneath each of those overwhelmed things and actually do it. Make sure it's something you can do. Get a week behind you. Get some traction and then crank it up a little bit. Don't try to jump into someone else's workout plan if it's not right for you, right? You got to pick the right weight, the right resistance, the right tension in your mind that allows you to succeed right now. Uh, Suzanne, one step at a time. So, so true. It is, uh, it's like, what about Bob? The, the movie, what about Bob with Bill Murray? Baby steps, right? Baby steps the elevator, baby steps the hallway. Um, and then look, you're sailing, you're sailing, right? You'll eventually get there. So the overwhelm comes in waves. It does. So sometimes you'll be having an amazing week and then it's Friday and you get some bit of bad news and it tanks down and you're messed up in your head. Don't carry that into the weekend. Make some simple choices, make a list, mark in what you're going to start doing Monday to work on that. What's up, Tina? Good to see you. And work on that on Monday, not on Saturday and Sunday, okay? I'm a huge fan of taking weekends off. I'm a huge fan of minimizing your workload as soon as you can. Um, that's what we talk about a lot in this group. That's why I built this group, is to help agency owners do that. So lean in, ask questions, look at all the free content we got. Make sure, though, that you get that free time. It's one thing to create money. It's another thing to create time. And doing those both at the same time is really difficult for a lot of agency owners. I totally get it. I was there too. But you can do that. And when you kind of figure those out, the overwhelm starts to go down. But just a heads up, Sheridan, awesome to see you. Even if you get your time and your money figured out, overwhelm still happens because life goes on around us and we can't always control everything. So again, just to review, go back, write down your list of all the things that are overwhelming you and categorize those by the things you can control. Move those things to the top of the list, the things you can't control. Move those to the bottom of the list. And then underneath all the things you can't control, write down one thing under each overwhelmed feeling you've got that you can do, that you will do. Not to be like somebody else, but that you can and will do starting right now. And start executing on that list and start moving through that overwhelm. It'll be slow at first. It's like riding a bike uphill. Once you're, you got your bike stopped, you're looking up at the hill and you're like, oh man, this is so high up there. But once you start getting momentum, it starts helping. Those first couple of pedals are going to be the hardest. Hope that answers the question again. Thank you for that question. Won't mention that name again, uh, but that's a really, really common thing. You're not alone. You're totally like the rest of us. You're totally like me. I get overwhelmed. We all get overwhelmed. That's life. The thing to do is just learning how to simplify those processes in your head, get back on track, and understand true things you can do to move forward. So... Hope that helps. Thanks again for that question. Anybody else got any questions? Fire them away. As always, love hanging out in this in this community. You guys and girls are all the best. It's just so fun. So enjoy your weekend. Take some time off. Rest, relax, get your headspace back. And come back in Monday, fired up, charged up, ready to go. I'll see you all on Monday. Have a great weekend. Talk soon. Bye. Oh, and happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. It's Mother's Day. Hey, remember, don't forget. It's Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day. Have a great weekend. Bye.